listen to the testimony of ACP Oludotun Odubona, an assistant commissioner of police in charge of operations at the State Police Command. The ACP is representing the commissioner of police, Hakim Odumosu, who was summoned by the panel to assist it in its investigations, especially aimed at unraveling what happened on the night of October 20, 2020 at the Leki Toll Gate. ACP Odubona recounted how the NSAR's protest, which started around October 8th, grew to become a well-coordinated movement with gatherings across the state, including one at the police command, the government house in the Laosa, the Leki Koi Ling Bridge and the Leki Toll Gate. He also recounted how the process started to turn violent, such that the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Songonlu, had to be protected and whisked away on October 13th when he addressed protesters gathered at the Leki Toll Gate. He recalled that the governor tried to plead with protesters to vacate the area as their demands were being considered, but instead he was pelted with sachets, bottled water, uh, some of which he said contained urine. Now, ACP Odubona also said that October 19, the protest turned very violent and there was a need to protect police facilities uh, so that the armory would not be looted. According to him, there was um, so many police stations were burnt without much resistance, including the one at Orile, one of the newest stations in the state with high-tech equipment, which he says the Lagos State government was building and furnishing to serve as a model police station. ACP Odubona put the number of police casualties at the Orile station at six, with claims that many more officers were maimed and injured, including the DPO of Orile Police Station, CSP for Lashadi Daniels who he says is now permanently incapacitated owing to injuries she sustained during the attacks. He tendered evidence, a list containing the names of 109 police officers allegedly killed and wounded during the protests, as well as a list of stations burnt, vandalized and looted across the country. Is a, is a police officer that is totally being mocked. Just like I told you, we had a screwdriver with one of his eyes that is sticking out from his eyes. Is uh, on the bridge on the island, around Akpogon area. You can see the National Theatre just ahead in front there. That's on the co bridge. That's a senior police officer that was trying to calm them down. He was beaten, and later under the bridge there, we found his corpse there. Uh, this is the Orile proper. You can see the mammoth crowd that have besieged the uh, station. Just like I said in my testimony that uh, equipment, arms and ammunition were carted away, our police officers were killed and burnt. We can no longer recognize them. They were burnt beyond their recognition. So some of them were declared missing in action until about seven years before we were able to say this person is actually dead.